The V-stitch is one of my favorite crochet stitches. It has that name because it forms shapes like the letter V. It's a quick and easy to do and it creates a lovely surface, especially when you use many colors. I have used it for scarves, baby blankets, in slippers, now I'm using it for a very large yarn bombing project and it's great for that because it's quite quick to make. There are variations in how you make it but I'm showing the basic one here now. So let's start. I have a short chain made. Doesn't matter about the, the length of it for trying out. And I'm going to do the V-stitches using double crochets. You can also do them using half double crochets or trebles. I'll show the trebles at the end. And this, this is in American crochet terms. So first of all, I'll make a double crochet to the fifth stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, fifth. Here just an ordinary double crochet. That's it there. Then chain one, just one, and then I'm starting to make a double crochet into the same stitch as the previous double crochet. So I'm putting my hook through here. But I'm not finishing the double crochet, but instead I'm leaving two loops on the hook and taking a yarn over and starting a new double crochet, skipping one of the chain stitches below. So not that one, but this one. So here. And now I have three loops on the hook and then with the next yarn over I'm pulling through all of them. So already now we see that it's starting to make this sort of a V shapes up and down, a bit like a zigzag. And then I'll do the same again, chain one and a double crochet to the same stitch as below and not finishing it and starting another one, skipping one Double crochet into that one. And now pulling the yarn through all three of them. So here you see what it's beginning to look like. And simply you do the whole row. This is all there is to it on the first row. Chain stitch double crochet into the same stitch as before, yarn over through two loops but not all of them and then again. And now through all of these. There and then you just continue like this until the end of the row. Here I am at the end of the row, uh, except that I can't leave it like this here, but I make one more chain stitch and then a double crochet into the stitch where the last stitch was. There. And here now I'm not changing the color yet. I'm turning it round to go back and uh, I find that the best way to start the next row is first to make a slip stitch into this here hole. So you pull the yarn through directly and straight away through the loop. So that's a slip stitch. And then you start again. Uh, four chain stitches. Four. The second row and all the other rows are quicker to do because you already have the hole where you are going to put your stitches. So a double crochet into this here. But again you are not finishing it off but you make another one into the next hole. 
like that and then you pull through all of them and you simply continue like this so uh, change stitch and now a double crochet into the same hole as before there and leave it there another one to the next one and then yarn over and pull through so like this here until the end of the row and then at the end of this row I'm going to change the color here we are at the end of that row and again I'm turning around and now instead of using the green yarn I'm taking another one this here pink one and uh, I'll do just the same just with a different yarn so I'll pull through here yarn over and uh, through the stitch and normally when I'm changing the yarn in this kind of places I take both the yarn end and the actual yarn and do the first chain using both of them so it doesn't go away loose then leave the other one out and then continue just the same so now I have I make three more stitches one two three and then I continue just the same as before just with a different color now so first into this here a double crochet uh, and leaving it like that and uh, there the same and then through all of them and uh, chain one and so on so this is just how you continue the whole time this here is the big thing that I'm making for a yarn bombing project. This is otherwise the same, but all these are trebles, so with two yarn overs. And instead of having just one chain stitch in between, there's always two. I'm in the middle of the row here and uh, just doing a few of these here now. So what I need to do is to chain two and take two yarn overs and start a treble and again here you leave it so that you have two loops on the hook and then again two yarn overs and now through all the three of these so otherwise the same it's just a bit bigger and then you continue chain two and so on. What you need to remember in doing this is that also on the first row where you skip stitches on the chain that instead of just skipping one you skip two otherwise the start of it won't be even. Okay that's all and have fun. <laughs>